Hey y'all, come see you guys back with another video. in the midst of getting ready. Z has a science performance presentation at his school this morning. So I am about to go over there. So basically I just came in just to chat with y'all for a little bit before I get ready to head out. I am gonna be rocking a some blue jeans. I got a black blazer and then I have on like a black bodysuit in the inside. And then I'll be pairing it with some, um, just some little slides from Aldo. And that'll be it. I was going to put on some little earrings, but unfortunately, I don't even have any earrings right now. Every time I put a little stud in my ear or anything, Baby Z keeps pulling them out and they're getting lost. So I don't have any earrings right now to rock, but I just came on to chat with y'all. I don't know what we're doing after that. I may go to the grocery store and do a little grocery run after we leave the school. But it is early in the morning. It's like almost nine o'clock. We have to be there at nine. So I'm about to hurry up and go get in the car and I'll check with y'all once I get in. Hey y'all. So I think once we leave the presentation, I might just go ahead and take baby Z to the playground to burn off some energy y'all. It is nine o'clock now. And he is on go already. We haven't even made it to the presentation yet. And he is already cutting up. Acting all wild. Doing some little crazy stuff. But um, today is November the 9th. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday thus far. It is flying. Like November is flying already. Like in two more weeks is Thanksgiving. And it's like this is, this is crazy. It's almost December already y'all. So. Shout out to y'all who already put up y'all Christmas tree. I think I'm going to start putting up my stuff probably in about a week and a half or so. I may do it before Thanksgiving just to enjoy the little Christmas vibe that's going on. But y'all, that month is flying. So I know once Christmas, December hit, Christmas is over. Like, in one week, it's over. So, um... We may go to lunch or something. I may vlog or something like that if we do go to lunch, but I'm not even sure what we're going to do. I just know that I may take him to the playground depending on how he acts. It's like 62 today, so it's not too, too cold outside today, but it's cool. It was colder this morning when I dropped the kids off at the bus stop. I'm about to be late, y'all. I know he's going to be so mad. Sit back, sit back, sit back. And y'all see him trying to get up out of his seat again. So I am about... I think I'm about two minutes away from the school, so hopefully they don't start on time. Hopefully I can go in there and find a seat too. Y'all know how it is walking in late. Everybody watching. Sit back, sit back. Everybody watching and you trying to find a seat. So hopefully they give me like an extra two minutes to get there and then they can start. Okay. led to the discovery of the cell by Zacharias Jansen. This is a drawing of the cell as you would see it in a magnifying glass. Can you see the details? Snake! You see it? Snake! Oh, a snake. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's go.
Tickets confirmed for our vacation. We were supposed to take a vacation for this December, but we're going to have to push it back to July. So I am having a horrible time, horrible time, getting through with American Airlines since I had to switch out our tickets. They gave us like a trip credit if you cancel the trip because I wanted to extend the date. I didn't know that once you book a flight that you only get one year to use it. So with American Airlines, um, basically I was told that I could cancel it and then I could write like the customer relations and then they would be able to extend my, basically extend my ticket again. So basically I had to cancel my trip, rebook the trip again for June, and then um, after I did that, I went back to go book it again for July. And y'all, y'all would not believe they gave me a hard time. Like I'm on hold right now for like 50 minutes. They're gonna call me back in like 50 minutes to an hour. But they made me cancel the trip, didn't explain everything to me. So basically if the child is under the age of 15 with American Airlines, they were not under the trip credit. So I was like, hold on, hold on. Like, they started asking me for, like, the credit card information. And I was like, I'm not paying again. Like, the first ticket was already, like, 900 and something dollars. So they wanted us to pay again for the kids. And I was like, no, ma'am, no. So I had to reach back out to customer service again for them to, um, hold on, y'all. I had to reach back out to customer service again for them to clarify and let me know what happened because I was just so confused. I'm like, I already paid for the flight, so why are y'all seeing that we have to pay again? I was like, it's not, something wasn't adding up to me. Like, I was just so confused. Like, what are they talking about? And then finally, we realized that, well, we didn't realize still. People who I talked to on the phone at customer service, they finally let us know that you're only able to do like four trip trade trip four trip credits at once, and then one person will have to go on one by themselves. So I just went on with the kids, and then I did the hubs by himself. So it is a hot mess, y'all. So if y'all ever booking a flight, please don't cancel your flight. Please make sure that you keep the dates that you want, unless you have. No problem with going through all this. So basically, this is day three of me trying to sort this stuff out, trying to get everything updated and everything. I already got the hubs ticket. They gave me his ticket number, but I was in the process of getting like me and the kids ticket switched over, and they were booking our rebooking our flight. And guess what? My phone went dead. So I was like, today is not my day. So I'm just here, sitting in the office trying to look up the flights again and make sure that the price hasn't changed before it hits 12 o'clock because those tickets are going by fast. On the flight that we're going on, they don't, I think they only had like maybe like eight seats left. So I'm trying to hurry up and get those flights done and over with tonight. So it's gonna be a long night for you, girl, but today is Monday. The kids have two more days in school and then Thursday will be their last, well actually, yeah, three more days in school. They are out Friday and then they'll be out all next week for Thanksgiving break. So we should be in Florida, hopefully. God's will, we should be. And we're also supposed to be going to a wedding this Sunday, me and the hubs. I'm excited about that. I can't wait to dress up. Y'all will see me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And y'all gonna see us. I already picked out my dress. It's supposed to be delivered tomorrow. Hopefully it looks right. Like I am envisioning it. Hopefully it looks right. So um, I'm supposed to get my makeup done on Saturday, not Saturday, Sunday morning. And the wedding, I think it is around like five o'clock. But y'all will see that in the next vlog. But this Wednesday, 
I think this part right here is going to be in my Wednesday's vlog because Wednesday I am going to go eat Thanksgiving lunch with the kids. So y'all can look forward to that. But y'all, it's just been a mess. Like I've been having a busy week thus far. Still trying to define, still trying to find out everything that we're going to do in Florida next weekend since we aren't going to be home. We may still like just go to the wedding and then come back to Georgia and me and the hubs might just cook our own little Thanksgiving. But I don't know yet, y'all, because I don't, I don't know if I want to deal with like all that cooking and stuff like that. But it is been so crazy with the holidays approaching so fast. It's like you don't have time to prepare for nothing. Like when I say nothing, I feel like I don't have time to prepare for anything. It's just been a hot mess, y'all. On American Airlines now, I'm just trying to check the prices to see if anything changed. I'm just sitting down here in the office while the kids are up there sleeping in the hubs. I'm trying to see if they're gonna call before I go upstairs. I wanna go upstairs and take a shower, but I don't wanna go up there and then they end up calling and I have to wait until tomorrow and then the price change. It's so stressful, y'all. So I meant to tell y'all, so I'm gonna have to show y'all tomorrow. I got um, the kids passport in. They did do some upgrading on the passports from what I saw. Let me see. Yeah, but they did do some upgrades on the passports. They look really nice. It took about, I would say like a month and a half. So we only have to go get Baby Z's passport because I told y'all in another vlog that here in Georgia, I'm not sure if it's like that in Florida because I don't remember that, but we have to um, both be there. Like me and the hub, we have to both be there in person in order to even do the passport application and then also we have to take baby z there with us so we're gonna have to wait until the hubs it's like off so i'm kind of happy that the trip got pushed back because we still need to get like summer clothes and all that stuff because i know i was going to have a hard time trying to find summer clothes in december especially with this inflation going on y'all like things are like crazy like when i tell you it's so crazy it's like everything is going up. So hopefully, I will say like around maybe like February, I will start shopping for our trip. Yeah, maybe like February, March, I start shopping and just start putting that stuff up. I know I have to order some more um, luggage sets. I'm going to get everybody their own luggage set. And maybe me and the hub to show up. Let me scratch that. Everybody might, may have to just carry their own luggage because... We're going to be down there for, I think it's 14 days. So I will need my own. Everybody just need their own. I may put um, Baby Z and um, Z's clothes in the same suitcase since they are little. Well, Z is not a little boy, but since they are boys, I can just put theirs together. And then I may just add Zaz on mine and then let the hubs get his by himself because we're going to be taking so much stuff, y'all. Y'all know how many outfits you may change in 14 days. Like, this is going to be my first time going to blank, 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 but y'all will find out when they get close to the time, but we are excited, y'all. We were really excited to actually be going in December, but unfortunately, we had to push it back just to save a little more because we were actually going to stay with some family where we were going to go, but we're going to just go and get a hotel when we go there, I'm going to be also looking for some, like, nice little Airbnbs in the area and stuff. Because, y'all, like, in December, the place that we were going, those rooms were going for, like, 50000 and 40000 I was like, for what? Like, <laughs> those prices were ridiculous. And I was like, that can't be right. But when I actually called one of them, I think I called, um... It was the Hyatt over there, and I think the Hyatt was saying like $80,000 or something like that. And that was going to be for like 18 days. I was like, Are these people crazy? Like, <laughs> I was like, they must be out of their mind. I was like, it's not worth that much to stay over there. I also saw some other 
places that was over there, they looked way better than that. And I was like, they're not even charging the money that they trying to charge. So I was like, uh-uh. I was like, that's way too much. So we're going to try to see if some of the families that's already over there, if they could um, get us I guess like the residence price and we'll not pay like the tourist price because I think that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to target the tourists and make us pay like that price. But I was like, no, that's too much, way too much. Okay, so the prices are pretty much stay the same. So the prices right now are 664, so not bad at all compared to our original price. It's really expensive, but at that time that we are going to be going over there, we are going to be going to a festival. I don't, I don't want to tell y'all where we're going yet, so we're just going to be going to a festival around that time. Y'all will just see, like, when we get there. God's will, everything works out, we will be over there in next year. So, since we did get some of, uh, basically, like, some of our credits back, we're going to be using it for, like, Another little small vacation. I really want to go to like Texas. I was thinking about like Dallas or Houston, one of those. If it's not too expensive, I would like to fly over there. But the hubs, they scared of flying. So I don't know how that's going to work out. So I may just use it to go like to go see my sister in North Carolina. Or I may just go see like my mom or something in Florida just to take the kids on like a little flight. Because I went to North Carolina last time. And I think that was like our very first flight. I went to North Carolina. I think that the flight was really chill. Like the hubs was like, I can't sleep on the flight at all unless I take something. I was like, it's not that bad. But to me, it felt like really relaxing. So if you guys have never been on the flight, try to take like a small 30 to 45 minute flight. You guys would enjoy it. I know I enjoyed it. It was just relaxing to me. And I went on a flight with three kids by myself, so, yeah. So hopefully this time when we go on our trip, I'll get to get a window seat again. Because I just like looking out the window. Of course, I'm going to vlog for you guys to let you guys see how beautiful it is once we get to that area. But y'all, I'm ready, 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 ready. It's so crazy, like, I can't believe it's almost Thanksgiving. Like, November just started yesterday, and next week is Thanksgiving, y'all. Like, they have to be doing something with the time. It is crazy that this month is almost over already, and it's almost Christmas. Like, this year just flew right on by. Just flew by. So, as y'all can see, I still have, like, my stuff is empty. I still need to go get, um... Some more stuff for my little office setup. I got my iPad, as y'all can see. I um, I'm gonna be using. A, I'm trying to get me like a Mac desktop. So for now, I'm just gonna be using my iPad. I think it's more convenient and a little more easier for me because I can like get stuff off of my phone to my iPad. So which I can. Um, it, I think it's more convenient. So I'm just going to download a few apps on my iPad. I just got it in today. And um, I should be good to go. So this is what I will be possibly editing on. If it lets me edit, if it does good. If not, I will just continue to do everything from my phone. But I am looking forward to this Christmas. Hopefully I can get you like a desktop or something like that. So drop it in the comments if you guys know any desktop that you can recommend that's easy to work because y'all know those apples it's like that stuff getting complicated as far as just to do simple stuff on a macbook and stuff like that so if you guys have any recommendations on a desktop it doesn't have to be the latest any desktop that you think is like easy peasy to work drop it in the comments and let me know